Hey guys, this is Brad at IOPS 360. Today's webinar is going to cover the employee action section of the IOPS 360 platform. Employee actions gives you a way as an administrator to track employee events and occurrences over time and look for any kind of trends. This can be when employees are uh, calling out after they said they were um, going to sign up for work like your part-timers. This can be when employees are late, um, no call, no shows, those kind of things. In addition to that, you can also use this section to track positive employee things such as when employees stay over and help out the team, uh, late transports, they come in extra for um, you know to help out with an event those kind of things and then that way both of these uh, sets of information could be used for evaluation time so that the correct employees are rewarded uh, the correct way and you can trend any kind of uh, occurrences that are happening on the negative side and hopefully prevent uh, those things from being a long-term problem so first let's go in let's get the employee actions uh, module turned on and uh, any user with admin permissions permissions can go into system config we're going to click on the modules tab and then we're going to scroll down to employee actions and we'll make sure that that's enabled uh, the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and do just one quick configuration thing we're going to go into system config again we'll go over to users and we're going to select employee action types this is a list of the different uh, categories that you can select from. So feel free to add as many as you want to. Uh, these are the ones that are going to come with the system by default. You can always um, make these more specific, uh, take out any ones that you want to, those kind of things. If you've already started using this section and you delete one of these, that history is going to still stay uh, with the system. It'll just prevent new occurrences, new action types uh, from being added into the system. So if you do change this list over time, you're not going to lose that data. All right, so now we'll go up to features and we'll go to employee actions and you're going to see a list of all the employees on the left that you have access to. So if you're a supervisor over three people, you would see those three personnel in the list. Um, a non-administrative user will not have access to the section at all. And then users that are super user, sysop, and user administrator, those are going to see all employees across the system. So we'll pick a user here. And you're going to notice that there's three tiers, there's three uh, levels in this accordion. First level is going to have employee information, their status, those kind of things. And it's going to have a summary of all of the actions that have been put in the system. And it's going to show those over different date ranges. That way, if you're doing a one-year evaluation, you can go and quickly see all those that have occurred. Um, and then if you're putting in those and you're starting to see a trend that's happening in 15, 30 days, those kind of things, uh, possibly head those off at the pass if it's a negative thing. Um, if you'd like to create an action, you've got that here, and we'll get to that tab here in just a second. We can collapse uh, Amelia there, and we'll look at the action history. This is going to bring a search range of all the events. Any of these, you can click on them, and you can see additional details like who the person was that created it, the date and time it was created, um, any edits, those kind of things as well. And then you have your different filters up here. And then the last section is the create employee action. So if you clicked on the create action from the top uh, user profile one, that's basically going to open this lower section. Again, show you those lists. We'll do kudos and teamwork. Uh, it's going to default to today's day, but you could back that up if that was yesterday, those kind of things. Uh, it's not going to let you use a date in the future. And then um, came in to help with coverage. So we'll create the employee action. We'll notice that it updated here. Uh, kudos and teamwork came in uh, to help with coverage. So those are going to be inside the system there. And basically, whenever you go to do evaluation, come in here, you can click on that employee, quickly see all these events. Um, we looked at linking this with the time clock system and with the scheduling system. Uh, what we found, though, is that if I had a really late night and an administrator said, hey, why don't you come in an hour late tomorrow, get a little bit of sleep since you were you know, helping the team out. We didn't want to artificially penalize a, an employee by adding one of these arbitrarily. So this is going to be something if uh, an employee has the no call, no show, or you guys cancel them, just simply click over into the features, employee actions, and document it inside there. So it's not going to be linked up, uh, and it's done that just to make sure that we don't get any arbitrary negatives uh, inside the system artificially. So. Let us know what you guys think and take care.